Adobe Lightroom is the industry standard for raw image editing. Over the last few years, it also has received a ton of major updates with masking changes and AI tool additions. But in my opinion, there are still a few features missing to make Lightroom truly in the GOAT. Let me know in the comments what features you would like to see added to Lightroom. And here is my list, starting with the tool I miss the most. Focus stacking is a common technique in landscape photography. This method ensures that the image is sharp from front to back by merging several photos with different focal points. I often edit these photos in Lightroom and then I have to switch over to Photoshop to do the focus stacking. This part does feel a little bit redundant, especially since Adobe has added tools to merge multiple photos in the past with the HDR or the Panorama tool. I think focus stacking could be something we might see in a future update. But for now, we can also rely on third-party plugins, like for example Helicon Focus to do focus stacking in Lightroom. So at this point, special thanks to Michael Breitung, who introduced me to this plugin. Generative Fill has been one of the biggest additions to Photoshop the recent years. Of course, it would be a little too much to include this tool in Lightroom in its current form. But a less powerful version would be nice. So let's say you're using the transform settings. Here some sort of generative fill would help tremendously. Of course, this is something of a key feature of Photoshop, so I personally don't see any chance of it coming to Lightroom anytime soon. I'd like to see a little more control over the results after the panoramic image has been stitched together. As it is right now, we can simply change the projection method for different results. However, looking at other software, Lightroom is lacking a bit. As an example, I was amazed by Skyloom's Lumina Neo Panorama stitching tool, which allows you to adjust the result by clicking and dragging in the preview window. This gives the user way more control. Another problem coming with panoramic images, but also when using wide-angle lenses. Distortion. In Lightroom, we can find a bunch of sliders in the transformation panel. These are great for straightening vertical lines or horizontal lines, and they can do a few other cool things. But fixing anything a little more complex is usually done in Photoshop using something like Photoshop's transformation tools or something like the adaptive wide-angle filter. Further improving the transformation tools in Lightroom would be a great start. But again, I don't think this is something that's going to change in the near future. While nowadays Lightroom has the Content Aware Remove tool, I wish Adobe would add the AI Remove tool as well. Content Aware Remove works great for simple areas and I'm quite happy with it. However, sometimes when cleaning up more complex scenes, I wish we could use Photoshop's AI Remove tool in Lightroom. Especially when trying to remove bigger objects or things in front of delicate patterns, this would help immensely. The only reason the channel mixer made it on this list is because I love shooting infrared images from time to time. And for the infrared editing workflow, the channel mixer is a must-have tool. A simple infrared RAW file usually looks kind of strange, with bluish foliage and an orange-red tint in the sky. To get the classic infrared look, we need to swap the red and blue channel. This means everything that has been red is now blue and vice versa. This is done in Photoshop with the channel mixer adjustment layer. Adding the channel mixer to Lightroom would significantly improve the infrared editing workflow, but as this is super niche, I don't expect this to get added to Lightroom ever. If you have watched a few of my videos, you know I love masking. After all, it's Lightroom's most powerful tool. This could be further improved if we had the possibility to adjust a little more things within those masks. As of now, when working on masks, we are limited to tonal adjustments, a little bit of color grading, sharpening and the newly added tone curve. 
What if we want to do some HSL adjustments or split toning locally? This only works with tricky workarounds including the use of Photoshop. Adobe has improved the quality of masks immensely over the years with a lot of cool additions. I think the chances are quite good they will further work on the tools here. I agree, levels are not the most interesting thing to add, but I personally just prefer working on the contrast with the use of levels than by playing around with the tone curve. Agreed, the tone curve is way more powerful, but using the levels adjustments is way more intuitive and quickly gets good results when trying to get just a little more contrast out of the image. Again, I would guess this is a super niche thing, only a few people want, so I don't expect Adobe to add this anytime soon. Raw image editing software really doesn't need this, but I would love to have a bunch of special effects sliders being introduced to Lightroom. What I mean by this? Sliders to add autumn glow, polarization, go now a light, fog and so on. Pretty much all of these effects can be achieved using existing Lightroom tools, but a dedicated slider would make things so much easier and faster. Again, I know such things are quite heavy changes to the raw file and don't necessarily belong into a raw editor, but to me it's fun adding some of these effects on top of my images. And now finally something we all agree on, we want better performance. Adobe is constantly working on making its software faster. I have to say overall I am quite happy with how Lightroom is running on my system, however there are a few pain points when it comes to performance. For example merging bigger HDR panoramas is quite resource draining, I wish this would work faster. I even have the feeling merging an HDR panorama works a lot quicker in Photoshop's camera raw editor than it does in Lightroom. Another problem, while the new AI denoise works like magic, it also can slow everything down extremely and in general it takes quite a bit of time to apply the AI denoise effect. And also I personally struggle a lot with Lightroom's heal tool when trying to clean up a lot of sensor spots. Usually after a while I get massive performance drops and that's the reason I rely on Photoshop most of the times when cleaning up images. After all, in my eyes Lightroom's performance could just be a little better, but I know Adobe is constantly working on it, so I'm fine with that. And that's it for the 10 things I wish Adobe would add to Lightroom. We will see, maybe we get some of them in the future. Are there any tools you want to have added? Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching this video.